good morning guys it is day number seven and during the night it got so much snow i don't really understand where we are like very quiet area but how far away from anything i don't know but this was the first thing that i saw people having their ukrainian flag balcony that is pretty nice We don't have much plans at the moment and we just reading news, same as everybody talking to our families, friends, because I have friends everywhere, all over Ukraine and Kharkov so far is the, the worst and the saddest. I really, everybody from my friends, Westerners, who were always asking me like which city I like the most after Odessa and it was always Kharkov it was always Kharkov like because such a beautiful city they built such a incredible infrastructure and uh, Park Gorkova everybody from you who've been there like they know I like very beautiful very clean very very nice city and they just destroyed completely going to destroy I don't know they can't stop themselves so with love in our heart we coming in 10 new day We came to the mall uh, and here it seems like a completely different world. Like yeah. So many people, they just chilling out, eating, enjoying their life. Like it's like a food court here. Everything. We just need to get some clothes because I need to get some shoes are leaking. I need to get some shoes because my um, walk, walk so much on, on, on the roads that my uh, shoes have worn through. What's happened to my hair? It's the only thing that just worn But, yep, yeah, that's what we're doing today. But, just thought we'd show you. Anything to say? No, no, just no mood, but uh, this place looks pretty cool. It's mandatory to wear masks, kind of, to wear masks here, so we are. Okay. And here is a place, like they give us samples, so here is like, as we show, like here's a lot of different food courts and this one called just uh, Kharkov Ferry. So they sell only um, potato and we were thinking that it's pretty silly from one hand because, thank you, because, um, you know, everybody giving the french fries, so they give us to try to realize that, like how good are their fries. So did you try it? Cheers. Cheers. Oh wow, they are pretty good. <laughs> no, seriously. They're like twice fried. You know how they twice fried fries? Mm -hmm. They're pretty good. You don't, you don't like it? No, it's good. But That's potato, who cares? It's just potato. <laughs> Hello, guys, again. It's the second? Yes, of March. Second today. Um, 6.05. Here 6 is big clock you can see. Big, big clock or big watch? Big clock. Big clock. Yes. So we are invited uh, for the dinner together with the owner of the apartment that we are renting. They were very kind to invite us and they would like to talk to us about what's going on, how can they help. Yeah, they, they went to, um, they actually went to the border and they took like, they said like a few thousand dollars worth of like supplies to the border uh, in Romania to help and they're, they're confused as to what to do now, they want to do something. so. They said, uh, can we meet uh, for dinner and we'll try and give them whatever information we can help and anything that we can help with as well. So that's where we're going now on this very cold evening. But still, it's not uh, it's not as bad as uh, some other things that are going on in the world. So yeah. being cold is uh, actually quite a luxury, to be honest. Luxury, yeah. yeah. Okay, you have Time is 20 past 10. Oh, yes. On the second. Well, interesting day, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I don't know, I feel so exhausted, even like we didn't do anything today. But I think that the stress that we went through for the past days, just, you know, getting out of me a little bit and just not feeling... Yeah, I went and I had to buy some clothes because when I uh, packed my bag, I only packed one small one. 
Yeah. So I didn't really take much clothes, so I had to go buy some new clothes today. I have enough for now. And as we said, uh, today we went to the mall just to have a, um, a look around. And uh, it's so positive, you know, people just walking, they, like when they see that we're from Ukraine or they ask, they immediately like start showing me like a couple of ladies in the shops are showing me their Facebook pages that they have a screen uh, with the um, Ukrainian flag uh, to support and they like start asking questions and then in the evening we got a message from the landlords of this apartment and they uh, invite us for the dinner with their family uh, and our family and so basically they just wanted to ask several questions because they've been helping they've been helping um, people coming over the border over to here and um, yeah they just had like huge so I said do you know anyone in Ukraine and they said no, no. they didn't you know, know you, yeah, they didn't know, know anyone they just wanted to just no. to like take us for dinner and you know and just be yeah kind, they insist you know? on paying and they said that uh, you know they have a very good living like they're both working they have kids kids going to private school so they have a good life and uh, they just um, want to help even though the closest border to the city is about um, about six hours so they drive there mm. on saturday on their we on their uh, days off to uh, help people and they were to asking yeah yes. to see they said that they can uh, offer like free accommodation uh, for people and rights to come back uh, yeah and rights to come back mm. uh, so they're doing pretty good interesting you know they've been uh, talking about uh, like places like we've been just asking them interviewing like places they like to visit around because they're European Union so they basically can drive anywhere anytime and it's pretty close they said that they like to go to Bulgaria they compare like they talk we'll talk a little bit about real estate uh, prices about new constructions here you know this apartment how they bought it what about Airbnb uh, some rules uh, so I think that probably like on our tour we will meet a lot of people and at least we will, people. yeah. At mm. least we will learn more about like different cultures and different prices and dif because yes, it's Europe, but uh, every country is different, of course. And even we've been asking about national food, and she said something that it, it's difficult to digest. It diff and I said like striker, what is digest? Mm. Uh, yeah, she said that uh, like the food is what heavy, like fat, fatty, fatty, and a lot of flour. Uh, so we want to try it. We mm -hmm. haven't. Uh, we didn't have a chance because they invite us to Italian restaurant uh, and uh, this is what we may try yeah. to do tomorrow. I guess when it comes, if, you, if we think about like what's happening back home or in Ukraine, you know, I call it home as well, um, is that, you know, like you, you, we've tried to stay away from the news because it's like it's devastating news. It's not just like shitty news, it's like devastating news. And every and, time and they, sorry, and every time like we have like I'm in a group and they say that there is like this air raid uh, alarm and like they say it everybody run to the bunker and then mm. a couple of minutes say oh it's over and I my mom asked me to add her to this group and I say you know what like you don't need it like honestly because mm -hmm. uh, it's just panicking like you just like everybody's panicking and nothing nothing good can come from it like we, we sort of made the call to like don't look at it the only thing I'm looking at really is like Zelensky's, uh, Zelensky's address and maybe some stuff about sanctions and things like that but in terms of like what building has been bombed what bot like none of this is useful for anything all it does is just like does you hit him and if you don't actually have any contact with it you kind of not forget about it but you don't you can kind of function you know you can function normally you can go to the shop you can eat um, you know, and you can kind of do whatever it is you need to do and have normal conversations. But as soon as you open up Facebook or you open up one of these groups and you see, you know, the same thing over and over again, like you just, like you can't, you, you almost stop functioning, you know? You just like shut down and you just start thinking about everything. And there's nothing you can do about it, you know? There's absolutely nothing really that you can do about it, you know? You know, apart from offer support to people uh that you know like we just saw um i just spoke to one of the, one of the guys that we know it's our client who got engaged in the new year eve and mm. uh, he just i just like everybody messaged everybody called but there was so many messages and i was like thinking about him i messaged him i say where are you and he say oh i'm with my fiance in Nipro. Nipro. yeah i just spoke and to him and i was like, like what are you doing like you know and he said we're it. pretty okay here yeah he says it's okay he said it's pretty quiet but just because it's quiet doesn't mean that it's not you know, that one thing that I've sort of learned over the last week is that um, everything that, that you thought was going to happen or not going to happen, probably a better way to say that, like it happened and it happened on a level where you just couldn't, you can't even imagine that that would happen. Even now when you see it, you think, 
it like you never would have picked it to happen even though it was in the news and people were telling you to get out and all that stuff you just thought no nah, that can't happen so you know even though it's quiet there same as Odessa that was kind of quiet but you know once bitten twice shy was it's best to get out before anything can happen if you can get out you know so I talked I spoke with my mom uh, she and my dad uh, stayed in Odessa and um, I just asked her what is working uh, is there anything that um, like they need because we send them money because both of their jobs are closed and I don't know when it will be open we would ever and uh, she said that uh, only pharmacies groceries and like there's a shop called Eva it's like I would say it's like a pharmacy in US that sell like soaps and like different things um, and they, they only they, they work and the rest is not working at all and um, uh, mom decided to go to manicure today. Like she really needed, she said. I've heard this on a few like, occasions. That, yeah, like, but, the but woman I said, is still mom, like really, nails like done. really, and she say, "Yeah, but I can't. Like, what do you want me to bite them?" And I said, "Like, okay." So, and she said, "But all the salons are closed." And she found one place. People are just a bit scared of um, this, um, like, people who can come and do some bad stuff. But anyway, uh, she said that um, what is bad is that really there is not enough food. Uh, in the shops and prices are really jumped up mm. uh, because they're not bringing any new stuff it's only like they're selling and once that's all the food's gone yeah I don't gone. know I am shocked and my dad going tomorrow to the market to buy like uh, for them and our relatives other uh, like uh, we buy like a big bag of um, of potato at least like in this like I really took don't them four hours to I don't want to believe in it. What, what, what? Was it four hours to line up for the potatoes? Uh, no, it was my friend in Kirsten who oh. moved from Lutsk or Lugansk. I, I think I will not say exactly from where, but to Kirsten. And she said that he was four hours staying in line today to get potato. Like, and this is and the we start. came to the shop yeah. like today. Uh, we came to the shop and we was walking with Striker and there was like, I don't know, maybe a 500 meters of sausages. Like we were shocked, mm. like we never saw so much meat in our entire life, uh, like and cheese selection and meat and everything. And there people just craving for, for potato. So I don't know what my dad will get tomorrow because they wanted to buy some fish. And mom said that they didn't want to buy it. It was too expensive in a shop. They just increased the price. And also they don't have any regular products anymore. They start having only like, you know, something expensive that nobody bought, like some yeah. export, uh, I, I mean, import. Um, so this sucks. And uh, I hope that tomorrow he will be able to buy enough food to support them and our elder relatives. Um, this is all the dates for today. And we'll see what other day is going to bring. A lot of guys messaging us and saying like, what we're we going to do, where we're we gonna move. And honestly, we have zero ideas for now. We have this we have, we have Actually, we have millions of ideas, yeah. but there's always something wrong with the idea, you know? And I don't know, I don't know if we wanna talk about it now, but. We just got to find somewhere that's, um, I guess it's kind of safe, I suppose, but it's like these, all these thoughts go through your mind and it's like, as if that would, like, we would be safe in that country unless like there was some, you know, big red button that was pushed and that would never happen. But now you think, well, it, it could kind of happen, you know, depending on how things play out. So everything is unknown, you know, and, and there are people like back in Ukraine who don't even really seem to be too fussed about it. They're just like, yeah, well, it'll pass, but... I don't know, like, yeah, some of the stuff that, I, that you see on the online is is pretty bad, so. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have to go. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you later.